What is up guys? Malcolm back again from Majestic Skies Gaming. Today I have a really exciting video for you guys. Today we are playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now this game has been out for a little bit of time here. You can see we're just on the world map here. And it's a really, really cool game because it has probably one of the most sophisticated, most accurate maps of the world in a flight simulator ever. So I'm just going to be giving you guys kind of my first impressions of the game here and uh, telling you guys some kind of details about it. Uh, this is the first time I've played it, but uh, you know, it will definitely kind of be an early impression of uh, what the game's like. So we're going to be keeping it local here. I actually live here in Ottawa. We're doing a short flight with the uh, Airbus A320neo. And we're going to be uh, just flying from Ottawa over to Montreal. So it's only going to be about a 20 minute flight. We'll probably skip through midway as well to keep it uh, keep it short. But what we'll be doing is just flying through the downtown Ottawa area. Showing you guys the detail in this game. And then we'll be uh, heading east to Montreal. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start taking off. Alpha Sierra X -ray tree two zero ready at runway tree two okay, two now you can see we are in the game now. Gives you kind of an initial start here. You can see the detail in this game on the planes, as you'd expect, is pretty spectacular. This is the, like I said, the Airbus A320 Neo. And uh, other than that, we're going to go ahead and see we are ready to fly. So I'm just going to give it a few seconds to load up here. Here you can see the interiors are very, very detailed, very uh, high poly as well. Perfect for uh, this sort of game, of course. Um, so we'll see what this flight looks like. Looks like the weather should be pretty clear. Um, you can obviously change the weather on the fly as you go, but we're probably going to just leave it as it is because it looks pretty clear. And I'll only change it if it's kind of uh, making it hard to see the landscapes. So I really want to show you guys the detail in this game. So anyways, first things first, we're going to go ahead and disable the parking brake as you saw there. And uh, then we're going to go ahead hit full throttle and we'll go ahead and take off here. Gonna keep it simple for the flight. I'm a bit of a noob to flight simulators so definitely don't uh, be expecting me to know every little detail about these planes. In fact I'm still just kind of learning how to play these games but just loving this game so far. It's just so incredibly high detailed. We're gonna go ahead and lift off now. We should have enough speed I believe. Should be good. There we go. We're going a little slower than we would have liked, but you can see a nice smooth takeoff there. And we'll go ahead and bring the landing gear up there, which is that little, little switch over there we just pressed. Okay, there we go. So I right, can see we're in the air. Really, really beautiful detail, as you can tell already. Now what we're going to be doing is, we're not going to be really flying this... Uh, properly at all to begin with because I want to show you guys just the detail in this game so we're going to be cutting the power here and uh, the flaps, eh, probably about that, it's probably good. Make sure the flaps are up a little bit so we don't crash into the ground. Here this is downtown Ottawa we're we'll getting into here. We'll see how close we can get. I'm going to try to aim for the parliament buildings. There you gotta acknowledge this frequency change. I do have it in a bit of a simulation mode though, because I just find it more fun. It gives you more to do while you're just kind of sitting around flying uh, at cruising speed and that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, this is uh, downtown Ottawa here. We're flying right by the Parliament building, so we'll see how close we can get. We can scrape the top of the building. But as you can tell, like very, very detailed maps. Like actually quite impressive the level of detail in this game. We need a little more power than that. Alright, so let's see how close we can get here. But uh, yeah, this definitely isn't uh, the biggest city in Canada, but they've definitely recreated it in pretty spectacular detail. Most of the cities look this good though, to be honest. Like, pretty much any city you go to is going to look pretty great. Okay, there's the Parliament buildings there. Are you guys ready? We're going to get up close and personal. Here we go. So that's Canada's Parliament buildings there. You can see. Yeah, 
you kind of get an idea of the detail in this game. As you're careening towards the ground, it really does feel like it. Yeah, we'll kind of just fly around here for a tiny bit. Try not to crash into the ground with our reckless flying, but it might happen. It might happen. It's got to be said. But we'll just kind of circle around, give an idea of the, the detail you get in this game. And then we'll commence, you know, our proper flight. Oh, we're going too slow. Gotta power up here. Stalin. Gotta acknowledge the beeping noise. I acknowledge. It's all good. It's all under control. I'm one of the greatest pilots in the world, so there's nothing to worry about. Hey, it's better to be overspeed than crashing into the ground, am I right? Uh, I just love this game though. Just like doing ridiculous things like this is so fun. There you can see there's some cars in the game as well. So you do have lots of vehicles in the game. And uh, I should also point out at this point, the game is not maxed out here. I do have it set, you know, reasonably high as far as settings, but I would consider this like medium detail settings. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this game is extremely demanding, so you're going to need some pretty high-end hardware if you're going to be able to play this game at decent frame rates like you're seeing here. Now this is probably 30 to 40 frames per second. I could definitely turn the settings down and get probably closer to 60. I've tested it. I could definitely get in that sort of range. Here we go, by the parliament buildings again. Whee! Oh, 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 we underestimated this. We're going to hit Capitol Hill. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, we just got to even out the wings. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was really close. That was really, really close. Very close to hitting Canada's Parliament buildings. Not quite though, not quite. All right, we'll, we'll fly properly now. We'll fly properly now, I promise. All right, we'll go ahead and bring the flaps up just a little bit. Yeah, it's probably good where it was actually. And uh, yeah, we'll try to do like a proper flight now. And I'll show you guys some of the weather system as well, which looks just incredible. Right now, there's not very clouds in the sky, but the ones you can see look absolutely incredible. But, uh, yeah, just to showcase this, I guess I might as well. I'll go ahead and turn on a little bit more weather here. Uh, hopefully this doesn't crash the game, but occasionally it will. We'll just go ahead and do broken clouds. Oh, uh, actually, that's a little much. With scattered clouds. Okay, so now we'll be able to see some more of the detail in this game here for the weather system. You can see the volumetric clouds look absolutely incredible. I don't think this is maxed out right now. I believe I have the settings set on high for the clouds. Um, so it's set on the high setting, but yeah, as you can tell, pretty incredible um, weather, uh, weather systems in this game. Like look at just the, the different heights and just, it's unbelievable. I've never seen weather like this in any video game, let alone a flight simulator that has the entire world in it. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. As you can tell, you know, it will warn you when you're driving flying like an idiot, but it's part of the part of the fun there. Alright, so there we can see this is our flight path here, so we gotta probably get a little more on flight. And uh, yeah, we'll be able to go over there and uh, see what's what. All right, we are back now, so I just fast-forwarded there. Now we're getting pretty close to Montreal, so we're going to get back down. I'll show you guys another big city. I believe Montreal is our second biggest city in Canada, but I'm not 100% sure. But I believe it's the second biggest city in Canada. All right, so we're going to get down nice and lower, about 6,000 feet right now, as you can tell. Another beautiful day in Canada. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be going right down to the ground and... Uh, Checking out Montreal, Quebec. But yeah, there'll be a lot of videos coming uh, with Flight Simulator. I'm loving this game so far, especially with uh, you know the virus going on. There isn't really too much more I can do, especially now that we're getting into fall here. But um, you know, this game I'm absolutely loving, so I would for sure be willing to make lots of cool videos for this. We'll be doing a lot of challenge videos as well, so you can already think of a few ones that would be really fun to do. Like one challenge I'm going to try to do is do an entire flight upside down. So basically the way that'll work is um, basically you'll have to start the flight. Obviously you'll have to be right side up, but 
within 10 seconds you have to be upside down and then uh, after that you have to uh, do the entire flight upside down and then you have 10 seconds before landing to flip upright so I think that would be a fun challenge I probably won't do a crazy long flight but I think it would just be fun to do there you can see there's one airport right there we're actually going to a further away airport so we can show you guys montreal as well but uh, that's downtown montreal i believe over there but uh, you can tell massive city just uh, the scope of the urban sprawl is uh it's pretty real here but uh yeah we're getting getting towards the downtown area now just keep following all the buildings till we get there Oh no, we got a bit further to go. Man, the city is just so spread out. It's nuts. Now, as I was saying, you do need a pretty high-end system to be able to play this game, uh, you know, at very high settings. This computer I have, I actually just built because um, I needed an upgraded computer. I've been using the same one for quite a few years. And it's just a little bit outdated, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, this computer here, you know, it's a pretty high-end system. It's got an eight-core processor, and uh, what's the, what the graphics card? I think it was a 5500 um, AMD uh, card. I'll put it. Uh, I'll put a, a title with the with the exact graphics card. But yeah, even with that, I'm only getting maybe 30 to 40 frames per second. So um, yeah, it's a pretty demanding game. Right now I consider my computer to be pretty high-end. And yeah, I get a very nice experience playing the game, but you know, I have to turn some settings down and I still only get maybe 30 to 40 frames per second. But the one thing I will say is that with a flight simulator, you don't really need, uh, you know, a ridiculous frame rate. So, you know, this, as you can tell, it looks quite smooth, looks quite playable, and it is, you know, like... I wouldn't really think that it was only going 30 frames per second right now. So, um, you know, that's why sometimes you just have to turn off the, you know, the, the frame rate in the corner and just enjoy the experience, you know. A lot of console games, they're locked to 30 frames per second anyways, so. But uh, this is a slow-paced game, and even now I'm flying like a maniac, and, you know, you can tell. Still going pretty slow. But, um, yeah, the detail in this game is just incredible, though. Like, you can see how the... I mean, this is nothing new, but see how it distorts the air behind the engines and just, like, yeah, every little detail is just so incredibly done. But, uh, yeah, right now we are going to be getting into the downtown Montreal area. And uh, we'll be able to see the detail in that city as well. Um... But uh, overall, yeah, just incredible detail in this game. It still, you know, has its flaws. I wouldn't say it's a perfect game yet, but it's uh, definitely, I mean, if this is where it starts, you know, the sky is kind of the limit with, with that. Let me get rid of this because it's kind of starting to bug me a little bit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there you can see. Now we're getting into the city a bit here. Getting towards downtown here momentarily. Really immersive when you're in the cockpit, of course. Extremely immersive. I mean, you know, basically, unless you're right up against the ground, everything looks photoreal. It really does, you know. There are some issues here and there, but everything, for the most part, looks very close to photoreal. So the technology they're using for this game is pretty spectacular. It's pretty spectacular technology. 500. Now you can see we're going to get nice and low and we'll fly right through to the downtown Montreal area. We're going to chance it. I don't think we're going to crash. I think we got this under control, but we'll see on that. Go ahead and increase the airspeed up a little bit, though. Going a little slow. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. see how low we can fly here. Let's get nice and low here. There we go. Flying into Montreal. All right. Oh man, this is gonna get interesting. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna try to sneak through these two buildings right here. Ready? Three hundred. Three hundred. Oh, okay, we gotta pull up a little bit. Okay, that's good. Three hundred. 
Oh, man. Oh, we're cutting it close here. Gotta raise the wings so we don't hit that. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's Montreal in Flight Simulator 2020. Most cities look pretty spectacular, though. Like, you'd be surprised. Like, you know, some smaller cities are pretty well done. All right, now we got to go ahead and uh, actually land at this airport. So what we're going to have to do is do a very sharp turn here. Well, I guess before we do that, I'll show you guys what the cities look like at night. So they look pretty spectacular as well. So we're just going to get this going here. Change the time here very dangerously. There we go. So yeah, as you can tell, the cities look pretty good at night as well. Pretty spectacular. I mean, every street light looks like it's basically done up, so it's, it's pretty incredible. But uh, yeah, just absolutely love it here. In fact, we'll try to land uh, at night here. It might be quite interesting, let's see. Cockpit of obviously as well looks pretty spectacular. The light is yet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try landing like this. We're gonna give it a shot. Open up the map here. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and do a turn here. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna zoom in because I really can't see that very well from here. Okay, now I can read that. That's good. But yeah, we'll do a night landing here just to show you guys what it looks like at night. It looks pretty cool. Go ahead and do a nice turn here. Very low altitude, so I'm just gonna need a little more power here. All right, so now I'll just be kind of going through the landing, which I'm not the best at landing, but we're gonna give it our, our absolute best here, and hopefully we'll make it down okay. There we go. We can see the airport over there. I can get a turn a lot more sharply here want to make it down in time that is okay here we are airport straight ahead so we're gonna go ahead and lower the landing gear flaps up okay there we go we can see the runway already it's the runway we'll be landing on you can tell we're not very well straight centered with it but that's okay going too fast or way too high, so let's go ahead and lower it here. And I'll zoom out a little bit. That's good. That's good. But um, yeah, there you can kind of see the airport at night. I'm actually going to set it the daytime. I kind of changed my mind here. Looks cool at night, but you know, I want to show you guys more of the detail as you can see better in the day. Oh, okay, there's a cloud in the way here. <laughs> That's okay. All right, we're going to be landing through that cloud here. Make sure my landing gear went up. Okay, good. Wanted to be sure. Okay, we're too, way too high of an altitude, though, so we gotta just lower our altitude. We're just going to completely shut off the engine and see if we can touch her down. But, um, yeah, like I said, loving this game so far. It's incredible the amount of detail that goes into every single square foot of this game. It's just so well done. It's pretty incredible. As you can tell, when you're landing, very, very immersive. When you're flying through clouds, you know, seeing the whole landscape, it's it's pretty incredible stuff. I think we're going a little bit too slow, but that's okay. All right, we're going to try to straighten it out a little bit here. As you can tell, the landing really is kind of a methodical thing. You don't usually rush through it. We'll see. Hopefully, I'll land okay, but I mean, I do sometimes crash, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we gotta definitely drop lower here. But we're at a very low airspeed, so it should be good to just kind of make a very, very dangerous landing and uh, yeah, leave it at that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if we can land it here. Coming at like a 90 degree angle. It's definitely not what you want. Okay, we'll pull up last second already. Okay, here we go. Oh gosh, you should be at like 100 right now. Should be at 10 by now. Here we go, landing. Here we go. 
Get off the runway. I'm trying to land here. There we go. So there. See, I'm not the best at landing yet, but we did do it. Go ahead and put the reverse thrusters, which is what I just did. Okay. I have, to, I have to go the long way. Okay. Uh, I might as well show you guys the airport while I'm here. You guys, what some of the airports look like. And uh, yeah, they're pretty, pretty well done. Not the best at uh, controlling all this, but give it a shot. That wasn't the worst turn I've done in the game. Uh, I don't know if this one really even. This is a pretty small little airport, I'm pretty sure. So just go ahead and park right over here. But uh, you know, you can obviously get taxi and that kind of thing. But we're not going to bother with that in this video. Just focus on the basics. So there you go. You can see that's uh, yeah, basically the gist of how most flights go in this game. Like I said, there will be a lot more content coming soon, but uh, other than that, I will be ending the video right here as we touch down at an uh, airport right by Montreal. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video, and do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Like I said, there will be a lot more content coming very soon.